Serious, what is the story of your worst date? I was 28 or 29 years old at the time. We'd been talking for approximately 10 minutes over one drink. Him. So do you want kids? Cause if you do, you don't want to wait too long. You're drying up. Me. Him. It's biology. Don't be mad. Then there was the time I met a guy for coffee. It was like 9 or 10 am. The coffee shop was busy but fairly quiet. He'd ask me a question. I'd answer and he'd loudly exclaim nice. High five he did this like 4 or 5 times before I had to tell him to stop. I didn't want to keep high fiving. He took off his pants. After a first date of dinner and a movie he asked if I'd like to have some fun. I said number. He apologized for overstepping himself. I told him hey. I totally understand and it's okay. Now the confusing part. He took my word okay as consent for I totally want to do sex now. So he immediately and quickly took off his pants. Such awkwardness when I explained it was still a no. I went out one night with some of my girlfriends. I was the young, naive girl in our group. We went to this bar that is on a lake and had a great time drinking margaritas. I met a guy, we danced, laughed, really clicked. My girlfriends were ready to go. I didn't want to. He was making promises that he could get me home. But the DD in our group put her foot down and said we had to go. We exchanged numbers and made promises to talk soon. And the DD took us girls home. The next day, I get a text from him. I'm so excited because he had to be interested if he texts the next day right. We make plans for dinner and he offers to pick me up. Him. So, pick you up at the same address? Me. Same address? What are you talking about? Him. The house I dropped you off at. Me. You didn't drop me off? Him. Shut up. We had sex in your driveway. Me. Um. No. We did not. Him. Yes. We did. Me. I'm really confused. And I think you are too. But I'm not the girl you went home with last night. So the date died before it ever got started. Grateful for the DD though. She was a lifesaver. Did he reply? OMG. He stuck his fingers in my dessert, licked his fingers and did it again. I ordered a lemon meringue pie and offered him to some. He said no only to then proceed to say actually that looks good and sticks his fingers in for a taste. Yuck. That's disgusting. He went in for a kiss and he proceeded to ram his tongue in and out of my mouth leaving his saliva all over the lower part of my face. I was mortified and tried to play it off as to not make him feel bad. That was by far the worst kiss I've ever gotten. I still get second hand embarrassment when I think about it. I had been seeing this guy for a few months but he kept me on the down low didn't want to commit. Finally took me out to dinner in public we sat at the bar. A little after we ordered his two friends got to the bar and he immediately got up before they spotted us. He went over to them and sat and ate dinner with them and texted me not to come over. So I sat alone for most of the night until his friends left. He was his married. I had an old college friend come to visit me and stay for a weekend. Knew her in college. She was amazingly intelligent and fascinating. But we were both spoken for at the time. Years later I got Facebook and she was one of the first people to find me. Both of us were single. She asked if I wanted to date her. I said heck yes. I was thrilled at the prospect. The short version. The weekend was spent listening to her narcissistic bulls. She told me jokes that are as old as the internet. Reworded to sound like personal life anecdotes. She told me all this insane edge lord crap she used to or still does. Like taunting police. Back in 2009. Or sneaking Cuban products back to America when the embargo was still in place. She tried to start a fight with a bouncer when we went to a bar and she forgot to read back at my house. A block away, we visited some of my best friends. And the moment we parted she talked crap about them non-stop. My brother came by since I texted him I was out and hung out. She talked to him for quite a while. He left. Then she spent the rest of the night talking about how attractive he was. At this point I was just counting the hours until she left. I was no longer interested in her. She finally left. And I get a text that night. You failed all my tests. You laughed at my jokes that weren't really jokes. You didn't defend me against the bouncer. And you aren't interested in my passion. Fighting bouncers and cops. And you sat there and took it while I talked about your brother. Also, I don't find you physically attractive. I didn't reply. I just cut my losses and fell asleep. 
Several months later at 4am I get another text from her. Same text as I just wrote. Only this was out of nowhere. And the injury following insult. I gave her absolute heck for it. And blocked her on Facebook. She then made duplicate Facebook accounts. And threatened me on those too. She gave up eventually. But I dodged a freaking bullet. That's wild. My dude. I wonder what happened in her life to just throw her development in neutral at the young adult stage. Glad you dodged it. My freshman year of undergrad my TAFE or a comp C class I was taking asked me on a date. He seemed normal nice enough so I agreed and we went to dinner at a random restaurant in the city. He ordered for me which was not my favorite but I was like whatever cause he seemed to know the place really well. He was a narcissistic weirdo and he talked about himself the entire time and kept asking me telling me to pay attention. He told me all about his ex fiance and basically went on a rant about how white women are so entitled so now he's only interested in black queens. It was making my skin crawl. I f I f I f I f at the end I wanted to split the bill he said he would pay since I'd be paying him later wink wink. I didn't even know what to say or do I just stared at him and excused myself to go to the bathroom and I left through a side door. Luckily there was only 2 weeks left in the semester so I only saw him again for the final. From the get go, talking to her was honestly like talking to a freaking brick wall. If I asked her a question, her reply was typically one word or at most a single sentence. And no questions in return or any efforts to keep the conversation going. At one point. She got up to go to the toilet, and the older woman who was sitting at the table next to us leaned over and whispered to me I have to say, I really admire your patience. She is a nightmare. That s hilarious. I love that lady. Went out with guy from work who I didn't know much about. He turned out to be a dong in many ways and was drunk when I showed up. Low light of the night was when he started doubtfully heckling the small cover band that was playing in the bar. The guy on the mic said, I'll give you $10 out of my own pocket if you can tell me this girl's name and you guessed it. He literally blanked on my name in front of a room full of people. You can try again lmao he didn't have much but the audacity. Met online back in 2003. Agreed to meet at a diner we both knew. I got there first. She arrived. Hit the gas instead of the brake. Drove into the curb. Then hit a light pole which fell over and landed on a parked van. No one got hurt but she was pretty embarrassed. Never heard back from her. I got a girl's number and went to the dentist a few days later. Four wisdom teeth and a lot of drugs later. I apparently showed the dentist her number as my emergency pickup. I have no memory of these events. But apparently she picked me up. Took me to the pharmacy for my medication. And dropped me off at my apartment. Where I passed out. That was our first and only date. Apparently I didn't make a good impression. Can't blame her for that. I have no idea why the dentist office asked drugged up me for a pickup number. I assume they couldn't reach my primary help number. But I never asked. That's a sweet woman though. I hope you at least asked her where you could send flowers. So many stories but one of the worst. Sorry it's a bit long. I matched with this guy on Tinder, and he offered to take me out to dinner. I thought that sounded nice so later that night he picked me up. We were driving and he asked me where I wanted to go. I told him I was fine with anything. He said, okay then and pulled into Subway. He then told me that he wasn't hungry, but that I should eat. So he stood outside of the Subway and watched while I went in and got myself food. At this point I was already mentally done but I wanted to see how much worse it would get. Spoiler. It got so much worse. So I'm sitting in the car with the stupid freaking sub on my lap. And he decided that it was a great idea to drive around. Specifically through a dark, isolated ravine that was nearby. He drove for about 10 minutes into the ravine. Parked the car next to an abandoned tennis court and said, Okay, you can eat now. I was just thinking, I really don't want to die here, so I choked down the soggy sub while he stared at me. The second I was done, he pulled the car out and drove me back home. I was so grateful to make it home in one piece that it took me several days to process how fricked up the entire date was. The cherry on top, at 2am that night, he came back to my house uninvited, carrying a bag full of stale donuts, and asked me if I wanted to have sex. But it had to be without a condom since he didn't have any. Another story. This was a second date with a Tinder guy. I wasn't particularly into him. 
but he was nice enough and I was new to the area and looking to meet people. At the last minute, he says his buddy just got to town and asks if he can tag along. I say sure. They came over to my place first, then we went to a dance club. The buddy was awful from the start and only got worse. He insulted my house, my driving, my job, etc. He clearly just wanted to hang out with my date and didn't like that I was there, at the club. He keeps trying to dance up on girls who are obviously not into it, then screams in their faces when they ask him to stop. My date had totally disappeared trying to wingman for his butthole friend. After about an hour I'd had enough, so I found my date and told him he could come with me or he'd have to find another way back to his car. He's sulky, but agrees. We get back to my house. My date apologizes for running off and begs to come in, promises his friend will behave. I relent, because I'm an idiot. Within 10 minutes, it becomes painfully obvious that, having struck out at the club, my date is now trying to get me to sleep with his friend. I kick them out immediately. He texted me the next day calling me a baby and accusing me of stealing his phone charger. I hope you stole his phone charger. He deserved it. Met at a coffee shop. Within 15 minutes I was trying to figure out how long I had to stay to be polite. He believed he was an alien. Told me about how he has died twice. Even though he knew my ex abandoned my daughter. Proceeded to be proud about how passive aggressive he was with his own kids. Such as refusing to see them if they didn't want to do exactly what he wanted. Noped out of there after about 40 minutes. 39 minutes too long. Haven't had many dates but the worst funniest was from Tinder. Shock. The plan was to start at my house as a double date then if it went well split up and go out. It never got to the last part because he crap in my toilet. Blocked it with toilet roll. Got embarrassed when my friend went in and left. Oh and he forgot his jacket in the rush so got one of his friends to come and get it the next day. I had a guy show up to a second date at my house with his dog. Dog walks in. Takes a huge crap in the middle of my kitchen floor within 10 seconds of walking in. A bunch of friends were there. Everyone laughed but him. Met a guy at a professional night out. He seemed interesting. He invited me out for Chinese food and a movie. But insisted I come by his house first to meet his four dogs. Because not liking his dogs would be a deal breaker. Cool. I love dogs. I follow directions to his house. Which is a mobile home with a small fenced yard. So the dogs must be little, I think. Number. Four large, mannerless dogs living inside this mobile home and the smell is completely encompassing. Turns out dinner and a movie meant watching one of the thousands of VHS tapes and DVDs he owned while he tried to get the clothes off me, while four big dogs bounced around. I declined his kind offer of incredible sex and got out of there. My clothes went directly in the washer and my car smelled like dog for days. I met this guy at a coffee place. He was nice and we met for coffee once more and then met for dinner at a bar. The dude straight up licked my face. We were sitting at the bar and I had turned to get the bartender's attention and he leaned over and licked me chin to temple. I was visibly shook, so he tried to playfully poke me to tone my what the frick face down and I asked him to stop. He then leaned in and whisper, I'll just poke your sleeping body later. I made him leave. I walked him to his car and had a bouncer stand by the door and wait for watch me. I received several messages a few days later. He was concerned he hadn't heard from me and was going to stop by my parents later to see if I was okay. I never took him to spoke to him about my parents house address. I told him I would call the police if I ever heard from him or saw him again. Thankfully, I never heard from him again. JFC, you did the right thing. So it's not my date, because my bad dates are just boringly regular stuff, but working in bars and restaurants, I've been able to witness some absolute doozies. And boy does this one take the cake. So, it's a fairly quiet night and it's pretty early, and I have a reservation for 6pm for two people. Young guy shows up for that reservation about 10 minutes early, tells me he's very nervous, as he's on a first date, and hasn't been on many of them. All that kind of jazz, kinda sweet really. Anyways, I seat him, and the girl arrives, like, 30 minutes late. She then proceeds to get extremely drunk, about halfway through the meal, though, she answers her phone, takes the call, and starts talking about her date, in front of her date, saying stuff like he's not really my type, 
I don't exactly like him but I figured I had nothing else planned tonight so why not. Young man looks super discouraged, pays his bill, and leaves. He's a nice lad. I've seen him a few times at the bar I work at now. Frick that chick. I would have just walked out and left her the tab. Went out with a guy who was a medic in the navy. He looked nothing like his pictures but I carried on out of politeness. Over the course of the next 3 hours he bragged about all of the people he knew who had successfully killed themselves. Bragged about how many times he had encouraged suicidal people to kill themselves and how he had often self harmed with them. To make things worse, he worked in the hospital and was telling me how he would give depressed patients sharp objects and tell them that it was less paperwork for him to do if they killed themselves. He also didn't have a clue about most medical conditions and would just send people away telling them they're fine. He finished off by telling me about his really messed up family and how his two 13 15 year old brothers had been arrested for stealing and burning cars, and his sister kept trying to stab all the family members. Suffice to say I made a swift exit and never went on tinder again. He lied about his age by 10 years, and took my to a part of the city that had his art murals. He was disappointed I wasn't impressed and called me a selfish bee for choosing my own cocktail at the bar. That's a creepy incel. Bullet dodge friend. I went on a dinner date with a guy from old. He takes me to a tapas restaurant and proceeds to chug 3 drinks in a matter of 15 minutes. The waiter asks if I want to see a menu and he tells them no. So apparently dinner is not happening. This guy sucks and he keeps randomly interrupting me to tell me where he buys his clothes. So I excuse myself to use the bathroom and the wait staff pulls me aside and asked me if I needed help because it was looking bad. They said they will tell him I left and to stay in the kitchen watching Alien vs Predator until he leaves. I waited 10 minutes until he left and I went to Wendy's for a spicy chicken sandwich. Well that actually ended well. I haven't had many date dates, but the last one I went on asked me if I could still have children. Yes, I can still have children. Am I going to have any more children? Number. But you still can though right? Left early and blocked his number. That's weird and makes me super uncomfortable. I had been texting this girl and she was really digging me. I was in school for accounting and she loved that. Apparently she was tired of all these artsy guys. So we go on a date. Her family works in high finance in Singapore and is really well off. I'm asking her about competition with Hong Kong, SK, and Taiwan. She tells me a little but then ask me about the industrialization of India and if I had seen any changes. I've never been so I tell her I didn't know. At this point she is confused and ask me why I've never been to my homeland. I tell her I'm American and my parents are Mexican. Her eyes got so wide. She suddenly gets super awkward and says I'm lying. She wants me to prove it so I show her my id that shows I have a Spanish last name. She gets super uncomfortable and tells me to take her home. I'm like WTF. So I take her home and she is visibly scared. Longest 20 minute drive of my life. I drop her off and that was the last I ever heard of her. TL. DR. Went on a date with a chick who thought I was Indian and was scared of Hispanic people. On today's episode of when racists accidentally come out of the closet. I was young and kind of shy and a pushover, and I met this nice guy at a cafe and went on a date with him. First he brings his dog to the restaurant, and so we aren't allowed in. Weird but like hey maybe he thought they were pet friendly. He says he lives nearby so I walk with him and intend to wait outside while he brings the dog upstairs. He insists I come inside and I, being a bit awkward, reluctantly go up. He immediately sits down, asks if I want water, etc. I repeatedly remind him we were going to have dinner until eventually he agrees and we leave. Dinner is weird. He had some strange god awful views and I knew it wasn't gonna work out. Wanted literal cat genocide. Shamed me for wanting to adopt. More. I make a move to go home after dinner and he reminds me I agreed to a walk too so caught off guard I agree. He then walks me back to his apartment and pulls a no I wanted to bring my dog and once again gets me upstairs and sits down and insists I sit behind him. 
I sit there extremely uncomfortable while he puts his arm around me and asks uncomfortable questions. I tell him I don't like being touched and keep asking to leave and it takes a while but we finally go for a short walk until I see literally just the first train I can find and made an excuse to get on it. Not the worst in comparison but I definitely cried on my way home because it made me feel so unsafe. Or there's so many stories on here where the guy asks someone on a date but it's just a ruse to trick them into their house. So rape why? Went to Buffalo Wild Wings because he wanted to watch the MMA fight. Got there. Casual conversation. But he kept looking at his Blackberry and heaving these overly dramatic sighs. Finally asked what was wrong and he said. I didn't want to bring it up but my ex fiancé was killed in a plane crash today. Cue up the OMG. So sorry with a bit of skepticism. Fight finished. He got a. Uh, separate. Checks. And then said he'd walk me to my car. Get there and he says. So, you coming over to make me feel better or what? Um no, sorry, hard pass on the sympathy sex. Quick google search upon arriving home revealed no plane crashes anywhere that day which isn't to say there wasn't one but I would put a lot of money on there probably wasn't one. He texted me the next day to say he had a good time but it was a shame I was such a buzzkill. He seemed like a lightweight drunk. Jumped from story to story about the band fish and fossils. Kept getting spacey and wide eyed at shadows. At the end he admitted he was microdosing and maybe took too much. The twist was when the person who liked fish turned out to be on drugs. About 10ish years ago I went on a date with a co-worker who seemed like a nice, low drama kind of guy. He asked me to go out to a bar and while I'm not a big drinker I agreed. While I may not have been a big drinker turned out he absolutely was. Guy got messy drunk to the point where he couldn't drive home. And since he had driven us there it meant that I, too, was out of a ride home. This was pre-Uber days. And he was drunkenly adamant about wanting to walk home as he lived maybe 3 blocks away from the bar. I couldn't exactly force him into a cab and his roommate was another co-worker of ours so I figured I'd help get him home and then ask the roommate to take me home. The bar was downtown. And to get to his house we had to walk past the police station. And as we passed it he stopped. Started screaming about hating the cops, and ended up puking on the sidewalk outside the station and then sat down on said sidewalk and refused to keep going because he was didn't feel good. I ended up leaving him there, finishing the short walk to his house, getting the roommate guide to take me home and as we drove past the police station the roommate stopped to pick him up. Guy laid down in the back seats crying and apologizing to me the entire ride back to my house. Roommate confirmed it was a pretty normal thing for the guy to get stupid drunk any given night. There was no second date and work was awkward for a while. 1. I ask what he does and says I don't like to brag about my job. You know the fact that I save lives every day. He was a doctor. And he said that with no sarcasm. 2. Gets angry because he asked me out a dating app 5 years before our date and that I didn't respond to his message immediately. I tell him it was an old account I never logged into he says. Goes to show girls are so fickle. 3. Admits he actually has strep throat and I actually shouldn't be on a date right now. We were both broke. So we went walking around this cute, teeny tiny country town near us. And then got McDonald's to eat in the car so we could chat some more. He almost immediately starts pressuring me for sex because he bought me a cheeseburger. So I owe him. He says. He starts getting pushy. And I say. Okay. But let's go get some condoms from this gas station that's on the other of town. I drove for this date. So I take us to the gas station. And tell him to go get the condoms while I wait. I wait for him to get in the door and go a bit farther into the store before I drive off. Leaving him stranded in this tiny gas station in the days before cell phones got popular. In a tiny country town with no bus service, no ride shares, and everything shuts down by 6pm. I know from mutual friends he made it home, but they already knew why he'd been ditched at the gas station, so no one cared about his crappy whining about it. Please accept this poor woman's gold. I freaking love this story. Went on a date with a guy from Bumble. This date was so bad I have to put it in bullet point form. He took me to a restaurant and when the waitress asked for my order, he put his hand out to cut me off and said she'll have a salad. He got shots for us. My mother had just hospitalized after being hit by a negligent driver, which he was very aware of and I told him I didn't want him driving under the influence. 
He took two shots anyway. When we get into the car, he puts on a gaudy gold watch. I asked why he was just putting it on now. He said, and I quote, cause I gotta let him know. Let who know what? He got us front row tickets to a baseball game. I'm not into baseball and wanted to be on the big screen so he got on his seat and twerked every 10-15 minutes. He was in the army and his lead not sure what his position was. My date just said he was a high ranking person. Happened to be sitting just a few seats down. I could tell he was judging my date for his outrageous behavior. When my date went to the bathroom, the two ladies behind me asked if I was okay and if I felt safe. If I felt safe. That should be very telling about how crazy my date was acting. He takes me to the beach after the game. He brought wine and a watermelon but dropped everything. Not gonna hate on him for that but NGL. It was pretty funny considering how awful everything else was on this date. It was cold on the beach so this man says you can put my hands on my chest and proceeds to put my hands in his shirt on his chest. What the heck. He then tells me about all the girls he slept with at my university and told me if they were good or not. But there was so much wrong with this date. He was convinced girls didn't date him because he was short. He was about 5 feet 4. No honey. Girls don't date you because you're a douche. Gotta let him know. Amazing. So like 8 years ago I went out on a date with this dude. Went well. But then we both got busy and never had a second. Life happens. A few years later, we decide to do another date since we are both in more stable places in life. Date went well. Good food. Good conversation. Even went to the bedroom. Then during sex he kept asking me if he could take off the condom and asked me to tell him I love you cause it helps him get off. I insisted the condom stays. But I did give in to saying what he wanted so we could hurry up and finish. No more dates with him. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.